Like, I, I don't understand this, guys. Yeah, we're a bloody good team. We've lost a few games. We played tough today and we won. Why has it got to be the most important game? What it means because, because you guys want to sack me. Is that why? Well, you're going to do it at some stage. You know that. You know that. If I stay long enough, you're going to get me sacked. So you'll be happy. One day you'll be happy here, boys. You'll come in and say, oh, fantastic, we've got another bloke we can terrorise. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a game, game, good game, test match game of rugby today. We're happy. They're not so happy. We're going to start preparing for New Zealand. But what of Wales coach Warren Gatlin's concern that England have already played their final one game too soon? Guys, can you just send my best wishes to Warren and make sure he enjoys the third and fourth playoff? <laughs> <laughs> right, Eddie, we're, we're about to start Aotearoa, Super Rugby Aotearoa next week. What are you anticipating seeing you know, amongst the New Zealand teams, given you've, you've given all that about the All Blacks? Uh, just so many good young players, mate. I don't know how you do it there. No, I do, because you've got three of the biggest uh, academies in the world. <laughs> Fiji, Samara and Tonga. They're not bad. Right? Oh, we were oh, waiting for it. I was oh. waiting for it. Well, you can give your opinion, mate. The referee's adjudicator on it. If I say something about the referee, then the, then the headline tomorrow is Jones complains about the referee. So I'm not going to give an opinion, mate. Wales, who knows Wales? Is there any Welsh people here? So it's this little shit place that's got three million people. Three million people. Hernandez left us with a beautiful memory. And Argentina's still very much in this. And they are fighting. Did Arsenal win? No, they won. There you go. It's good, been a good day. It's not funny. It's not funny. That's, that's the problem with Japanese rugby. Seriously. We're not serious about winning. If we want to win, we've got to go out and physically smash people, and we didn't do it. We knew how the French barbarians were going to play. I think it's great, you know, you give the country something to cheer about. With Brexit at the, at the moment, they probably need something to cheer about. Yeah, Johnny May's like when you go in the park and you see the person with a tennis ball and they throw it and he, the dog r runs 100 miles an hour and chases and bring it back. Well, he, uh, he does that pretty well. Yeah, Sexton's an interesting one. You know, they've talked about him having whiplash injuries, you know, which is not a great thing to talk about. I'm sure his mother and father would be worried about that. You know, so hopefully the, the lad's right on, on Saturday to play. How's Owen uh, Farrell after that hit? And um, any other things to worry about in terms of fitness as a result of tonight? I think they're about the barbecue part of his nose. I think someone's found it on the field. Uh, no, he's, he's missing part of his nose, which is unfortunate. But he's married, he's got a child, so he's not looking for any young lass in Kobe tonight, so he'll be OK. OK, uh, remember Trevor Chapel? Bowled underarm along the ground, couldn't hit the ball for six, so we saw a Trevor Chapel game of rugby today. So it wasn't a game of rugby, we still haven't played a game. So we might go out and train now, if you want to come watch it, come watch it. Because we haven't played rugby yet. Uh, I didn't throw a pen today, I didn't swear. I thought I'd even it up with the other box. So, um, yeah, I think uh, my mother will be pleased. I don't expect a phone call at five o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Uh, look, you know, our guys have experienced a number of our players. 17, I think, went on the Lions tour. They went down there, they played in their backyard. They, they know they're human. You know, they bleed, they drop balls, they miss tackles like every other player. And it's our job to take the time and space away. Um, so we put them under pressure, you know. The New Zealand talk about the about them walking towards the, the pressure. Well, this week the pressure is going to be chasing them down the street. You know, that's the reality of it. That's how we're approaching the game. Yeah, we've got nothing to lose. That's the exciting thing for us. We can just go out there and, and play our game, play it as well as we can. If we're good enough, we'll win. If we're not good enough, we've done our best. Well, I think, you know, Ireland know it's going to be a physical game. They haven't played a game as physical as this for a long time. They haven't played against South Africa since 2017. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to bring a physicality they're not used to. Played 23 tests. We've only lost one test to the scummy Irish. I'm still dirty about that game. Um, 
But we'll get that back. We'll get that back. Don't worry. We've got them next year at home. Thanks. Eddie, you say that South Africa have got weaknesses. What are they? Martin, do you really think I'm going to tell you? Well, you've told me they've got weaknesses, so it's do you think unreasonable to ask you what you think they are. Well, I don't think that's a reasonable question, mate. Um, but like every team, yeah, you know, there's no team that's unbeatable. There's no team that doesn't have a flaw in whatever they do, and sometimes your strength becomes your weakness. I'm so proud of you, mate. Thanks, mate. I really appreciate hey. it, by the way. Thank you. But all you got to do is be yourself tomorrow, mate. Yeah. That's all you got to be. Hey. I will do. Imagine your dad, he must be going nuts. Yeah, he's, buzzing. he's probably down the pub now saying, my son's playing tomorrow. <laughs> well, we, tar we target players all the time. That's part of rugby, isn't it? It's not? Is it legitimate to target a fly half in particular? I didn't know Ten had any special requirements. Uh, is there some sort of special law, is there? Let me know. No, well, you... Well, there's 15 players out there. What, are we supposed to not run at one player? Mm. Hang on, hang on. He's got a red dot on his head. We don't run at him. Did you make special dispensation for a number 10 because of his playmaking role? I, I don't understand the question, mate. Obviously, it's a different rugby here. Like, rugby, there's 15 players on the field. If you've got a weak defender there, you run at him. Why wouldn't you? Do you think Johnny Sackman's weak defensively? I'm not commenting on Johnny, mate. So can I just get back to that Sexton question? Yeah, I think that's a really silly question. You know, rugby's a game of 15 players on the, on the field. You know, you run... When we're attacking, we're attacking weak defenders. We're looking for weak defenders. Why would we run at the strongest defenders? So if Martin's there and... and sorry, what's your name? Nick. Nick, and Nick's there. We're not going to run a Martin, are we? <laughs> <laughs> well, you you well, never saw him play, mate. You clearly never saw me play. Anyway. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we're going to run at Nick. The stadium today was unbelievable. What a great thing for rugby today. You know, you're up in Hokkaido, closer to Russia than, than you probably want to be. Um, uh, well, there's only some slight alterations in the line-out plan. As I said, you wouldn't have been able to tell that anyway. You weren't suspicious that it was a tactic or anything? Sorry? You weren't suspicious that it was a tactic or oh, I don't really care, mate. You know, we're going to play against the 15 on the field. If, if they want to do that, that's fair enough. Yeah, maybe a leprechaun tackled him in the warm-up. I don't know. Eddie, this is kind of an obvious question, but you made a big call dropping George Ford. It was certainly interpreted as a big call. Um, you presumably feel vindicated by that, by the result. Uh, well, I didn't drop him, mate. I changed his role. So I know you guys struggle with that, um, but he changed his role and it was brilliant. So uh, we've indicated we're happy that he played his role well. Maybe you guys have got to start reporting differently. Maybe you've got to stop reporting like you did 30 years ago. Come into the modern rugby. Join us. Join us. There's a, the invitation there to join us, guys. Rugby's changed. It's a 23-man game. Join us. I don't know about France, mate. You'd have to ask the French coach. Go and ask the French coach, mate. Well, mate, if I don't say anything, if I don't say anything, then you come away from the press conference and say it's boring. If I say something, then I'm scaremongering. So I can't win. So the easiest way is I don't come to press conferences. Hi, Eddie. Yeah, obviously, Wales going for the Triple Crown on Saturday. Who's under more pressure, given, given what's at stake? Uh, that's a good question. Um, maybe you can answer it for me with your accent. I know you watch a little bit of Super League. Is there a player that comes to mind that you think might make it in Union? Well, I spent a bit of time up at Hull and I like the fullback there, Connor. Jake Connor. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a tough, skillful player and I'm sure if he got a bit fitter, uh, he could make it. A rugby league player needing to get fitter to play rugby union. We've had a magician here and now we've got a comedian. <laughs> Eddie, we saw you slam your fist in frustration when a penalty was conceded in the first half. I think it was double figures of penalties. How big a concern is this going forward in the tournament? Yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes up there, mate. I was struggling with the mosquitoes, so I had to whack a few. Um, well, why do we have a referee? Why do we have TMOs? I don't understand the question. Do, do, do you think that all the... How, how are we lucky? Like, they take... They do ten replays of a video and they make a decision. These are, this is the best referee in the world for today. 
we have the best guys in the TMO, and you're saying we're lucky because the decisions went our way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry we're lucky. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry we're lucky. You said on the pitch that you got the bounce the ball. Well, the ball, you know, the ball doesn't bounce to Johnny May, he doesn't score the try. But that's got nothing to do with the referee or the TMO. 